know if you know, but you set the single game passing record at Alabama. Um, just your thoughts on that accomplishment? Yeah, someone someone told me that's a that's a blessing for sure for all the all the great quarterbacks that have uh, you know played here. Um, you know to have an accomplishment like that is definitely a blessing. But um, you know that's definitely it, it's going to go down and, and and it's going to be written as it's something I did. But in reality, that's a reflection of the whole team. That's my O line protecting for me. That's the receivers, um, you know, making my job easy and getting open. Running backs helping in both, you know, in the pass and run game and OB calling great plays. So um, it's really a team accomplishment. Bruce, how do you uh, appreciate it? When, when you know they're rushing only three and there's plenty of guys dropping down the field and you have a few short options, I mean, how do you keep an eye on the, the close options but also the guys who are, you know, came up and like 40 yards on the field? How do you kind of manage the two? Yeah, it's you know it's it's kind of it's reps, it's 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 time in the film room, it's stuff we go over in the meeting room of you know what we're looking for, the specifics, um, you know where we have our eyes pre-snap, post-snap, um, you know anticipating what they're going to be in and then seeing how they react to it. So um, you know there's always a lot of stuff going on, but you kind of have to condense it and um, you know and cut it down to a specific thing that you're probably looking for pre-snap, looking for a post-snap. Um, so it's all about kind of you know where your eyes are and and, and seeing stuff, but. Um, you know, a lot of the stuff tonight I was I was I was seeing because of you know how we how I was coached from from OB and our whole offensive staff. So um, that definitely played a huge role in it. For Bryce, did you know that Scott Hunter, whose record you broke, is actually here tonight as a captain? And as he able to talk that's lit. That is, that is yeah. That is yeah. Someone um yeah they 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 told me um which is which is crazy. Um, you know, is is crazy. But again, it, you know, it was really, you know, it was a good team. It was a tough team win, and for us to be, um, you know, us to come out the win at home is always good. And for us to kind of, you know, reach one of our goals of accomplishing the, you know, of winning the SEC West was really good. And um, you know, I, I definitely, I can't do anything, um, you know, break any records without the people around me. So uh, I'm just happy to have the people around me that I did. Uh, this is for Henry. First and negative. What happened on the with you guys on the fake punt, and then second, uh, you had 13 tackles. You seem a lot more comfortable in the defense. How how uh, much more comfortable are you now that you're you know three quarters away through your first year here? Um, you know, as far as the fake punt, you know, we knew it was coming. You know, everybody has a man, and um, Demarco kind of just ran into the ref. So um, we all have a man, and we were prepared for it. But as far as you know, being comfortable in the scheme, uh, it was kind of the same scheme in Tennessee. Um, just really getting to know how everybody plays. You know, um, it's a full eleven guy team, and it's not just one guy going out there making plays. Um, you got to be a unit as a defense. You got to know what you guys are doing. Um, so that's definitely been something that I've been working on throughout this whole year. Um, I think maybe in maybe in high school. Um, but you know, obviously at this level, you know, it 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 is definitely a blessing. But um, honestly, I didn't, you know, I wasn't really that aware of it until kind of you know people started telling me. Um, for me, it's just you know just doing whatever it takes for us to win. Um, taking what the defense gives us, and tonight it ended up being um you know ended up being you know passing yards. But again, that's a reflection of of everyone on the team and everyone doing their job. So. Um, you know, for me, I wasn't really um, looking at it or it was something that I was feeling. It was just each play, each drive, trying to do what was best for the offense. Henry, defensively, how you guys gave up five touchdowns uh, in the multi-hard to the season? What, was, what were they doing effectively with these things that you guys? Yeah, I mean, you know, Arkansas has a great offense. <clears throat> you know, they do a great job of, you know, getting in unbalanced formations, um, making the defense adjust to them. Um, so. You know, the communication part was huge today. Um, so, you know, giving props to them and, you know, the scheme that they had today, um, you know, it really worked out and paid off for them. At the very beginning of the year, you looked a little timid to kind of scramble outside the pocket. Now you look very comfortable. What's kind of changed throughout the season? Um, I, don't, I don't really think it's been like a, a drastic change in, in mindset. Again, it's just all about um, taking what the, defense, what the defense gives. And, you know, they had some drop eight situations to where, um, you know, that, that's something we're kind of, you know, we're, we talk about is if there aren't, you know, if there's no one open and they're they're dropping it and they're soft, just to, you know, just to fill it out, whether that's running, extending plays, whatever it is. Um, so for me, you know, every part of the year it is, it's not really like a mindset of, oh, I want to run, I want to scramble. It's just, um, you know, trying to take what the defense gives us. And, you know, some of those plays were open at night, but, um, you know, it's it's going to continue that way, just trying to do what's best for the offense. Uh, Brooks, when they drop eight, 
and you literally got as much time as you want in the pocket. You know, a lot of quarterbacks they get happy feet and they move into trouble. But you seem completely calm and just sit there and, and let it play out. What's what's going through your mind with that? Do you ever consciously say, "Okay, I'm now going to scramble just to sort of create some chaos for the defense"? Um, you know, I really that that stems from all the confidence I have in our in our own line because you know, in, in theory. Um, you know, when people are dropping eight, they want to be able to, you know, create pressure with those front three. And the line did an amazing job of giving me time to operate, time to whether it's just sit back and find someone or, or time to move around and scramble. A lot of the scrambles and runs, you know, when you typically think of that, you think, oh, maybe someone got beat or, um, you know, they didn't pick something up. But for us, it was, you know, it was kind of the opposite day. Our line did an amazing job throughout the entire night and, and just gave me time to create and, um, and you know, do whatever was best. Um, but really a lot of that and, and, and the calmness comes from all the confidence I have in, in those guys up front. There have been a couple of times this year players have talked about how the offense has the defense is back, the defense has the offense is back. We saw last night whether you know, the defense gave a touchdown, the offense answered, or after the fumble, the defense forced the punt. Just how much cohesion is there on this team between the offense and defense and uh, trying to have each other's back? I'm sorry, sir. Uh, I got it, sir. Um, you know, we're definitely we're a unit. You know, we all have the A on our chest, um, and we harp on it every single day at practice. We harp on it every single Saturday. Um, you know, when something bad happens on the offense, you know, we come out, dab each other up, make sure our heads are high. Um, so, you know, I think we do a great job of that as a team because um, we're going to need it. You know, that's definitely um, an important thing in football. So, um, yeah. So well said. I'm not going to add anything. That was phenomenal. Hey, thanks, brother. Thanks, brother. <laughs> Thank you, brother. Brooks, you had a few throws tonight with that, uh, where it just, you just look super confident skying into you know, J-Mo, for example. Is there something that, what, that you see from J-Mo that you're, you're like, yeah, I can chuck this thing up uh, once you see him do something? Uh, yeah, I mean, you know, you kind of have, you know, as a quarterback, you have that moment of, you know, I, yeah, I feel like he's beating someone. I feel like that's open. And that, you know, that confidence is, you know, it's that confidence I have in, in any of our receivers. Um, but, you know, tonight, again, there's some plays down the field where, um, you know, if, if J-Mo, you know, if j -Mo's even with someone and you kind of read the leverage of the defender's feet, um, you know, he's, he's going to run past them. So, um, you know, when you have a dynamic playmaker like that, you just have to, you know, put the ball in the air and let him run under it. But that's the same confidence I have in, in all our guys. Um, you know, when I'm when I know they're winning on a route, um, you know, whatever the route may be, um, I'm I'm blessed to have the weapons I have on the outside. So that's the, the same confidence I have in all the guys. All right, and then two more, Michael, and then Simon, for, for both of you guys, what's it like? It's been a lot of close games in the last couple outings. What's it been like on the field? What's the mindset when you know six point game, fourth quarter games on the line? But what's what's that moment for you guys? Yeah, that, I mean, that's SEC football. Um, you know, that's what we sign up for. And, you know, I, I think, you know, I think, you know, these close games, the, these games that are tough and, and, you know, come down to, you know, a few plays that, you know, that, that's all we're here to do. We're all here to compete. And I think it kind of, you know, it, it, it builds character for, for all of us. And, um, you know, seeing the defense step up big time like they did today, um, you know, us being able to answer certain times when it was necessary, those are the plays and, and that's what's going to translate. And that's, you know, those are the opportunities that you can't really, you know, you can't simulate all the time. So, you know, we have opportunities like that for us to, us to respond and, and build off of it. Um, I, I think it's, it's just a good opportunity for us. For you, Bryce, you got a couple other young guys involved in the passing game. Talk about the progress of you, Corey Brooks, and yeah. Jim Larry. Yeah, those are guys that those are guys that work super hard in practice, and guys that came in, you know, as freshmen, but came in with a very professional mindset and learning the playbook, um, you know, working in the off season, um, you know, working their way up, you know, up the depth chart and, and taking advantage of their opportunity because, you know, especially around here, you never know what's going to come. And so Corey got some good snaps. Um, um, Christian Leary did a, did a really good job. When his number was called, he was ready. He was cold off the bench, but he came in, he scored. His swag was terrible. It wasn't a lot of, I wasn't a huge fan of, you know, what he did after. I thought he could have swagged it out a little more, but that's just me. But as far as production on the field, I mean, he came in, um, you know, and, and, and was ready when his name was called. And that's, you know, always what we preach. And, um, you know, you, you love to see that from young guys.